Okay, so here we are back with Holly back at the house. Um, if you want to see the previous videos, you can see them in the playlist. We're still working through the detective career and we're kind of ignoring all other sims because we just want to go through and factually see what we get from the detective career at each level and how it kind of plays out. So this is Holly. She is a detective. She gets 52 simoleons an hour. She's got kind of a low performance rating at the moment because she was just promoted and her next task is to solve one case so that is what she's going to have to do when she goes back to work on her next shift which is tomorrow and um, friday i believe yeah so we've just got to play out the night make sure that all her needs are fulfilled and get her to work First of all, we're going to need to age up Polly because it is actually her birthday. So she's going to come and blow out the candles as much as it pains me to age her up. She is due to age up and I didn't want it to go by without it being celebrated. I don't want her to feel like she's not important. She's very family orientated and she just, she, I don't want her not to feel loved. So here she is, aging up into an adult from a young adult now she is an adult and it's time to start wrapping up those lifelong goals okay that's what we're gonna do carry on with the detective career of course holly's just having a little something to eat as that's the only need that needs to be fulfilled as she start work she starts work at nine so she's just gonna have I don't know what's that, hot dog, and now we're going to work. Oh, she didn't get a chance to eat it, unfortunately, because it took her so long to cook it. Literally takes them like hours and hours to cook things that in real life would only take five minutes. But so we're going to have to get something from the stack machine at work. You can get like things that you can microwave, you can get sandwiches, snacks, all kinds of things at work. It just takes time out of your work day. So here we are with. The guy we arrested yesterday, obviously we finished in the interrogation room at the end of our last shift. So you kind of spawn like outside again and ready to take the guy in to be interrogated again. You won't like go back into the interrogation room automatically. For some reason he's walking into the chief's office, not sure why he's doing that to get a book. You see, it's just like things like that. It's a bit weird, like he can't leave but he can, he's free to do what he likes within the station which is a bit strange so the first thing we need to do is interrogate the suspect and as you can see the sim has to come all the way back to us for us to be able to walk him into the interrogation room which for some reason has now gone away from us i don't know so we're gonna have to click it again to interrogate the suspect again and then he's gonna come back to us again so that we can then walk him into the interrogation room again it's a little bit glitchy a little bit long drawn out it's taking precious time off my work day but in the end we will get in the interrogation room What's really weird is her hunger bar is green, so she must have somehow eaten some of her food, although we didn't see her do it. Somehow in super fast mode she's done that. You can see at the top now we started our interrogation from zero again. There's, the bar is not full like it was yesterday. And it says that Enzo appears friendly, so we're going to gauge his reaction. We've also got quite a good relationship with this guy from talking to him, so that might help. I don't know if it actually does help, but it could do, and it could certainly help us talk to him in a normal situation. You can see the bar's gone up a little bit there, so we're going to keep interrogating him. Like I said before, some of these animations are repeated, even though they're for different things, like showing them evidence of any kind will show that that animation that you just saw of her showing three bits of paper um, but it doesn't it hasn't annoyed me and I am quite annoyable so that's pretty good going do you see the 
the bar's pretty full up there, the orange bar at the moment. Um, you can end the interrogation at any time, that is also an option, but I don't see any benefit to that. Even if you've got the wrong suspect, it's still good to keep going until the end. You will see what the end looks like soon enough. Now you can see that the bar is full at the top, it's also flashing green and it says that the suspect appears to be guilty. So now we need to click on Enzo and click get confession, it's the only option at this point. And at this point we will ask him to confess, he will confess, she'll slap the table because she's joyous, there we go, and then we will put him in a cell. Let's just, uh, yeah, lock him in this one. It's always this one at the end. I, I've never seen her take any suspect or arrestee, whatever you would call him. A case closed there. Well done, everybody, well done. So that's ticked off our list. I've never seen her take anyone to the other cell. Um, it's always orange jumpsuits in the far cell and Welcome. new people in the close cell. So now we can work through the other things on our list in the top left. So Holly is currently on patrol and she's just having a little argument with her brother here who she's just seeing on the street and she's arguing about pants for some reason. For some reason they're fighting. Sometimes they they really love each other and sometimes they really fight. I don't know why. Um, but there's another lady here as well to chat to and Holly's now quite angry. As we Oh, she's issuing a citation to her brother. So yeah, that was rude. <laughs> I think that might harm their relationship somehow. Um, but yeah, as she chats, oh, she can issue a citation. So I presume those two are fighting and now she can issue that to those. Um, as we go through these videos, I'm going to be showing you less and less of her shifts as that it is quite monotonous what you actually see. But I will show you the important bits, of course. It's now Ben's birthday back home, so that's another thing that we're going to have to do when we get back tonight. And Holly is currently having an angry poop, but when she gets back she's going to open a new case assignment and that will start us on a new case to solve in which we will get evidence and go to a crime scene and get clues and the whole board, the pin board, will be wiped from the last case and we'll start all over again with new cases to solve. Holly's work day is about to end. She's starting a new case map for a new case. As you can see, the top left event timer has got a bit of a glitch again. It says 12.57 a.m. again, but it's actually 6 p.m. Money earned 609 simoleons from that shift and no promotion because her performance meter wasn't up that high because she just had a promotion in the last shift. And this shift has been shift number six of the whole career. So here we are back home now, this is Nicole in front of the pool and we're just going to see to Holly's needs again and get her ready to go to her next shift which will be shift number 7. And today is Ben's birthday, Ben is Nicole's youngest child so it's time to get him to come and blow his candles out on his hamburger cake and age up into a teen. It's a Saturday but Holly is due at work in an hour. As you can see her needs are pretty good. There's a couple that might turn yellow soon but hopefully we can keep on top of those and she will go to work now and we will go with her to shift number seven. And here we are once again at the police station with some new tasks to complete which are basically just relating to the case that we opened in the last shift. So we're going to need to add clues to the map. Um, obviously this new map is, well this new, the pin board is completely clear because she needs to put clues on it now, um, cross-reference the police database and all kinds of things to build up her case against that one sim. So Holly's at work now, she's about halfway through her shift. She's just been 
investigating a crime scene. She's come back to the police station. As you can see, her performance is pretty high. It's on the second to best version of green on the performance bar at the bottom right. There's not much that she needs to do, um, but she currently needs to exercise for an hour. And as you can see, she's put on quite a bit of weight since we started this these videos and since she started this job. Um, she has solved the case down the bottom, so I'm basically just trying to make sure her performance goes up and also trying to solve the case in advance for the next promotion. So here we are now, we've issued an APB and we're coming to do an arrest. This is what we're looking for. Shorts, black hair, Grim Reaper there boxing that's weird he seems to spend a lot of time at the gym is that just my grim reaper that does that i mean wouldn't he be so easy to arrest guy cloak floats around carries a what's it called scythe okay so this guy's wearing shorts he's got black hair he's a teen so i think we're gonna arrest this guy let's see what holly does Oh, yep, Mr. yep. So we're asking him now if he's seen anyone. He says he hasn't, so that to me pretty much says, yeah, you did it. So now I'm going to arrest him and take him into the station so I can interrogate him because he is my man. But unfortunately, the suspect, for some reason, didn't come with me. Again, another glitch of the game, unfortunately. Hopefully these things will be ironed out soon after release. But she needs a Wii anyway, and her shift is about to finish. So hopefully, and if I remember correctly, the guy does kind of spawn back with her when she starts her next shift. But he should be there with her now. This is me just checking around to see if he somehow was already in the station, because it really confused the hell out of me. But he literally should have been there and he wasn't so that is definitely a glitch i would say and now she's finished her shift money earned 609 simoleons no promotion and no suspect hopefully that'll be ironed out when we go into the next shift for, but for now that is it for this shift so Holly's back home now. We're going to see to her needs before she goes on to shift number eight. She's feeling absolutely shattered, worn out. She really needs her bed. Oh, someone's bed. There we go. She's in bed. Um, we're going to have to get all her needs sorted out before she can go to work. Um, I'm not sure if she's at work tomorrow. I don't think she is. Um, but we'll see and get her sorted out and send her on her next shift. So it's actually a Sunday now and Holly's got a few days off so she's just using it to build up some relationships again. As you can see her sister sat next to her, Sparrow, and Sparrow's got some kind of disease. She's got red spots all over her skin and she keeps sort of going a bit dizzy and that kind of thing so she's definitely caught something. And I saw her with this and I saw her with like stripes on herself as well and you know that comes from the whole medical profession which i'll try soon um but you know she's actually looking better now like a few seconds ago she had it so she must have cured herself um i'm not sure how that works haven't really gone through that career yet but definitely looking forward to trying that one um so yeah holly's just using this time to build up the relationships that she's kind of neglected while she's been going through her career Unfortunately, as you see now, Summer is dying of starvation upstairs and I just thought it was because I wasn't seeing to her knees. I kind of figured she would see to it herself, but I've actually previously realised that when I was making the basements, um, I knocked out one of the stairs that led to the upstairs and I didn't think it was a big deal. I was like, oh, I'll just put some stairs back later. But I didn't realise that she was actually upstairs. So I'd been torturing her to death, basically. Um, just, she was upstairs. She couldn't get down to the fridge and no one knew she was up there, including me. And now she's dead. And that was one of Holly's sisters. And unfortunately, no one mourned her because they couldn't get up there to see that she was dead. And I didn't realise until really 
a lot later. So that was really sad. Okay, so I was now starting to realise that actually um, having another child in the house would be really difficult because Nicole's um, relationship had suffered and, and also he was too old and Holly's relationship was pretty much non-existent. So I decided to get Nicole to adopt a child so we actually adopt rather than a baby because they're pretty rubbish in The Sims 4 and so they don't really do anything. I adopted a child so that it was playable from the off. Oh, she was playable from the off and she's about to be delivered. Um, she's called Emily Ritchie and she was a lovely addition to the house. And now it's time for Holly to go to work again. And this is for shift number eight. She's had two days off, so she's ready to get back into it. And here she is, back at the police station. You'll notice that the guy that was meant to spawn with her originally when she arrested him is now there, even though he wasn't last time. But it does work when you go back to work. I don't know why that happens. I think it must be a glitch. But now she's going to go and interrogate him. She's got really high performance level, you can see that it's in the best kind of green. She's already solved one case. Her ideal mood is focus, which she isn't in right now, she's pretty tense. But that's okay, she's still liable to get a promotion. As you can see, this guy's orange bar is going up quite rapidly. Definitely works better when I'm a bit more drastic like she's being right now. One thing I will say is you never really see anyone else bring in any suspects, which would be a nice thing to see if you had to kind of wait for the room. That would be fun. I don't know if that's happened to anyone. If you are now playing, let me know, because I'd love to know if that is a thing that can actually happen, but I've never seen it happen. So his bar is almost full. We've almost got this guy. And there it says, this suspect appears to be guilty. It's time to put him behind bars. So we click get confession and there we go. We've got our guy. Slap the table. Slap it. Come on, Holly. Slap that table. Yeah, there we go. We got him. Let's lock him up. And there we go. Case closed. He's been locked up. And we need to first go to the toilet and then start with a whole new case. Sometimes the computers in the police station do break, just like normal computers back home. So you will have to fix them. Obviously I could have kicked off the person in front of her and gone on their computer. But seeing as she's a good Samaritan, I just thought, you know, fix that computer. It's got a blue screen and then we can get back to work. So obviously at this point it would be really good if she had a level 10 handiness skill. So that's another skill that you might want to think about getting your sim leveled up in before you start the career. This is the crime scene that I was talking about that has the outline of the body on the floor. I really like that that's one of the details in it that you can take evidence from and take a photo of. Compared to the graffiti on the floor I think that's so much better. So Holly's work day is currently about to end in about 20 sim minutes and uh, she's currently on level 4 of the detective career and she will get a promotion I believe at the end of this shift, shift number 8. I'm obviously not showing you every single bit of each shift because it would just be really dull to watch. It's fun to play because you're in charge of it but to watch not so much because it is quite repetitive in what you have to do. And here we are, end of shift. She's been promoted to senior detective. She will now make an additional 26 simoleons per hour for a grand total of 78 simoleons per hour. And she's also unlocked some new items, which I will go and show you now. Okay, here we are back home, and as you can see on the right hand side of the screen, it says she's unlocked a one way mirror, the attender, and 416 simoleon, which is kind of like a bonus. 
and some new clothes as well. And this is the first and the only time I saw her unlock new clothes. You'll notice that her uniform has changed. You'll see that when I go back to her, but you might have noticed already. So let's just place some of these items. Oh, Nicole's down here in our basement prison. Hi, Nicole. Wearing a very appropriate outfit, I must say. So first of all, let's find the one-way mirror. And what we're going to need to do is use the search bar, obviously. So this is a one-way mirror window. So it's one of those that you can see out of, or it's kind of, I don't know, it's, it's a, you can't see, you can see, oh, I can't speak. You can just see a reflection, but someone from the outside can see in. So it's not something you'd want in your house, it's kind of the opposite of what you would want in your house, but it is something that you would see in a police station. <laughs> so, um, and I don't think you can turn it round or anything like that. So I'll just put it here to demonstrate that because that is right where you would not want it, right over your bed. Then we're going to look at the attainder in desk. So this is going to go down here. We're going to plop it down here and it's a chair, this one. So we'll just turn it around and plop that there. So that's one of the new items. Not many items with this, but the new clothes thing is a big deal. And then if we go back into live or live mode, whatever you want to call it, back to Holly, you can see her new outfit here. Oh yeah, she got a promotion and everyone's going to know about it. You can also see her new shift hours as well. She gets four va vacation days, that's what she has available to her. She has two days off a week, um, Sunday and Monday, and she works nine till six. So her days off are the same as the last one, I believe, but they do change at various times. And we're just going to go up to this mirror now and go back into kind of create a sim and change up, well, I'll show you the new clothing items. And actually, we're not going to go up here because I'm wondering why she won't go up here. But I remember I took away the stairs and I will realise that at some point through this gameplay, I'm going to send her into the basement to that mirror instead. <laughs> right, so here we are in Creative Sim with Look Holly up. and you can see there's a lot of new items. Some of these may have already been in here because I didn't check. So they are saying they're new, but not all of them will have been unlocked by this promotion level. I apologise for that, but I just didn't go in and check before I got the promotion. So I don't know what was new with that. Um, the ones that have the new symbol, but also the get to work symbol in the top left are the new get to work items. And that you can see is very policey. So I presume that's got something to do with this upgrade. The gold bits um, on the circular I I icons um, indicate the um, the newness, and you can see there's heaps of new clothes for her to try on. Um, yeah, so we've got some little shorts, lots of like lots on every category, which is really good, and all different kinds of themes not just like work wear either so that's really good and some questionable items um, some of these I was silly enough to try on underpants so that underpants so that's a bit ridiculous because I needed to take off those um, jeans so I could actually show you these properly because because they layer on things now we couldn't do that in Sims 3 oh wow wow um, we couldn't do that in The Sims 3, but uh, yeah, now we can, and isn't that joyous? It really is, actually. I sound sarcastic. Oh my goodness, these are looks you should never recreate. These are the most horrendous looks you could ever see in The Sims 4. Never put your Sims in these clothes. <laughs> so that she's wearing some orange socks, um, followed by some boots um, over some yellow tights. Wow. This is not good. So I'm going to try and find her a reasonable outfit now to get her back into the game. <laughs> and there we go. Slightly more reasonable outfit. She's ready to go back into the game and we'll get her ready for her next shift, which will be shift number nine. So we're back here now. I'm back at home. I'm a, it's absolute mess at home, but never mind. And we're going to get Holly ready for her ne next shift. 
Shift number nine. It's now time for Holly to go to work for shift number nine, but unfortunately her needs are nowhere near full. For some reason I was just not able to get her to be fully complete. So this is probably going to be the worst shift ever for her. So here she is ready to start her shift, shift number nine. As you can see her needs are not full at all. But, um, oh, and you can see up there, it's almost Nicole's birthday, so that's something we'll have to do when we get back home. But everything, the good point is, everything we need, we can get at work. We can eat, we can have fun, we can be social. Everything that you could possibly need, you can do at work. The downside is that um, it will take time, which then means you might not meet your girls for that day. This is what her performance is looking like at this time, so could, because she just had a promotion it's kind of at the lowest of the green, but she's already solved two cases, so she's ticked that off, so we just need to perform really well for the next couple of shifts and she'll get another promotion, which is great. So Holly has been spending the time on this shift not seeing to her needs, but actually getting clues and taking evidence from a crime scene and now she's at stage where she can issue an APB to go and bring in another sim to interrogate before hopefully being able to close another case which will help in the progress towards the even further in the future promotion so it's always the end goal. So here we are out um, in desert springs or whatever it, the, the deserty place I always forget the names of the actual places <coughs> she was just talking to her brother but we need to find someone who's short sleeve skirt short sleeve shirt elder um, and we're looking around those were all the things we needed to see within that notepad but yeah she's just chatting to her brother while I look around hi and see who fits the bill um, if I remember correctly this one was quite difficult because it said that the elder had grey hair and while this guy here with the shorts on fits the bill he doesn't have grey hair so I was kind of wondering if maybe it was telling me that just because they're an elder and actually they don't have grey hair or their grey hair was meant to be there from outdoor retreat which was not installed on this early access account although it was installed in my game so a lot of people have bald heads where they shouldn't have so um, that was something I was a bit wary of and I was wary of bringing in the wrong person but he was the only one that fitted the bill in the place where we spawned after issuing the APB which is where the sim is supposed to be so I asked um, my brother about the suspect to see what he said and he said he can't help which was absolutely no use whatsoever I don't know why he couldn't help because usually they say they've seen them so that shift has now ended we'll have to pick up where we left off on the next one she earned 913 simoleons that day which is pretty good for one day at work and I will see you guys for the next shift which will be shift number 10 Okay, here we are back at home and she's still got all her needs kind of squashed from the last shift. So we're going to get her sorted out, but it's also Nicole's time to age up. So she's going to make herself a cake because she's like cooking extraordinaire and um, Holly's going to go and make sure that she's okay for her next shift. Okay, now Nicole's going to put birthday candles on and that was just something from someone else's work. Hopefully no one will eat the cake before she gets back from the toilet. Nicole is Holly's mother, just in case you forgot. She's mother to most of the people in the house, apart from her husband and Holly's husband and Holly's daughter, which is Emma. So here we are, just taking a screenshot because Nicole's my first sim. She's the one that started it all. She's so lovely. I love her. Absolutely. Now she's an elder, so the pink hair is gone. She looks absolutely completely different, which is strange. And she has a bad back, obviously, because she's old. 
Oh, please don't die. So it's almost time for Holly to go to work and her need bars are pretty much full, apart from the social one, which she's working on right now with Nicole, her mother, which is quite sweet. Nicole's hair is set to change with her sleepwear, that's why she has a slightly different haircut right now. Um, I haven't gone in and changed that. I ought to really if I was paying attention to detail, but I'm just so into getting this detective career sorted out right now. If you would like to see in future a similar kind of set of videos but for the other careers like the medical and the other one which really escapes me right now and also is like the baking and the photography and the retail in general as well. If you want to see like playthroughs um, if they've been useful or fun to watch whichever please let me know in the comments because I'd be happy to do another series. Obviously we still have a few videos to put up for this one but just let me know if you would like me to get started on working through those careers as well. So Holly's at work now on shift number 10 and she is going to talk to the chief first of all. The chief changed variously through her her time at the police station which I suppose is kind of appropriate. Um, I don't know if there was maybe more than one um, at a time that would maybe take it in turns when one had a day off, I'm not sure, but I know that I saw at least three or four chiefs in her time. So we're going to actually go out and start where we left off and issue that APB to go and get our old dude with the grey hair, supposedly. So it's taking me to a different place this time and I'm going to have a look around and see if I can find our suspect. But I'm actually kind of patrolling right now so <laughs> I'm just going to issue some citations to these girls because I think in this situation they've been fighting or they certainly do and, and this is like a spawn point so you can see them all coming in which is a bit weird. Now here's our guy that we saw before as well and yeah, that, that may, kind of raised suspicions for me a little bit more but I was kind of more interested in oh, I hate that they're just stood in the middle of the road and there's cars like running them over these really angry girls at the end of the street and they've made me really angry as well sometimes when I say me I mean Holly I mean she's so angry right now she just has to kick a bin you know you know when you get like that yeah we feel you Holly at this point I zoom out and I see a massive fight happening at the end of the street so I'm gonna go issue some citations to these girls because that is something that I can definitely do when people have been fighting or littering and it's all getting very heated over here so an angry Holly is back to issue some citations to these angry mean girls. Um, she's saying she can't do it now but luckily they'll move. Oh, they're still very angry and they keep fighting with each other so this just needs to be broken up for sure. Unfortunately one of them left before I could issue her a citation but that girl definitely got one. Girl or alien? Probably an alien in a girl costume. Now it's time to go back to the station. <laughs> Holly's work day is about to end in about 30 sim minutes and she's still working on the case she's currently working on. Her needs are a little bit low right now. You can see she's really tired in the bottom right hand corner. And she, but her performance is actually really good. It's in the high end of green. She solved two cases previously, so she could get promotion at the end of this shift. We'll have to wait and see. And there we go. The shift has ended. No promotion this time, unfortunately. 913 simoleons. And so hopefully we'll get a promotion in the next shift. That would be great. And that will be shift number 11. I'll see you in the next video for that one.